Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more menacing mushrooms. That's not the right term. What are we calling this thing again? We were the uh, the malicious mushrooms. Menacing, malicious, same basic difference, really. Um, I've decided instead of trying to upgrade this fleet, which is going to cost a huge amount and take a god awful amount of time, for now we're just going to go. We're going to queue up a whole bunch of new corvettes. Um, we could also upgrade the starports, which would be nice, too. Um, maybe we should do that. We've got plenty of minerals right now. But our financial situation is looking bad. So, I feel like... Okay, let's do this. Let's go to the leader. Let's go to the, the planets list. Uh, do you, wait. You don't have a starport? Oh, it's because you're a new planet. Okay. And you don't have a starport? New planet? Solar panel networks on all five. Okay, how about the Western Blight? You don't have a starport. The Northern Blight has no starport. Let's go remedy that problem. Of course, this isn't going to solve our issues. It's going to give us more force limit, but it's fine. It's something to spend our money on. Um, we need more money is, is what we... No, you know what? Hold on. The only reason we have money issues is because we've got two colonies that are currently growing and a third colony ship just sitting in port. So we need to find a place for this guy to go. And then all of our financial issues will go away. Desert world. Gaia world. Hmm. There's a Gaia world here. Size 18. Science ship? What are you up to? There's debris. We had just, uh... We had just gotten this thing started. The debris's not important to me yet. That Gaia world. Hey, there's the Arctic world. We currently cannot colonize this world. Because why? It's not surveyed? We currently cannot colonize this world. And then I take a colony ship and I say colonize planet and it says it's fine. Okay. So we ignore what it says and we just go colonize. Anyway, um, that science ship that had surveyed this system... What are you doing? You're building another wormhole station. <laughs> I can't remember... What are you doing? You're surveying this system. And you were surveying the remainder of this system. Cancel your job. I want you to survey that Gaia world. There are enemies in the Gaia world. Never mind. In that case, I take it all back, go back to where you were. Survey the system. And then when you're done, research project all of the debris. Military um, is inactive. Well, kind of. It's moving around. The Gaia planet is more important. Let's go kill the Gaia planet defenders and then see what we can do. They're, uh, they're sporadic. It's too bad we don't have room for another leader. Hostile fleet engaged. So that we could have another scientist. System survey complete. I could get rid of one of my admirals in favor of having another scientist. We could have a third science vessel. Situation log updated. Construction complete. Research complete. This science vessel should head to over here? No. Wherever the enemy fleet is, which is in this system. So science vessel, don't be scared, and then just move to this system. Help. Just survey the system. Hostile fleet engaged. Meanwhile, we have finished. 
We have finished. Except there's a top, couple more down here. Go down there. You're building a wormhole for that one spot. You'll build a wormhole. Complete. We should build a wormhole. We should build a wormhole here, actually. Out of reach. What are you talking about? Situation log updated. Fine. Construction complete. Build one there. It's it's fine. Okay. Uh, construction is complete. Colonies online. No building here. We are at 16 out of 16. All surplus food is wasted, which means that we can get rid of hydroponic farms. What's more important, research or getting rid of... I think more minerals first. So let's get rid of the... Let's go for a, a mining uh, mineral processing plant. Get rid of that food. On this planet, we are still at 10 out of 12. So we still have value for food. There are... Let's build a farm here. This planet. Same thing. Just build a farm. This planet. Um, 9 out of 10. The blockers are definitely a concern, so the food's un not really important. So, I think we... Probably want to just take this last province, this last tile. It does do decent minerals so far. And may do more minerals in the future, but for now, I think we might want to just build... Um... Yeah, we'll do the minerals. We'll do the mineral hub. Why can I not do a mineral hub? I already have a mineral processing plant. Fine, do do a mineral a mining station. Building, 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 colonizing, colonizing, everything's good. Um, money is a concern, but let's go to the spaceport and we're gonna build more Corvettes. Let's queue up two here. Two here. Get 10 more ships. These will be of the of the newer version. We just unlocked research. What did we just research? We just unlocked. God damn it! The fusion reactors. There's currently a bug in the game, by the way, where um, you can queue up a ship with like nothing on it, and then upgrade them, and then it's it's an exploit. So I'm not going to use it. But all right. So we just got better technology. We should upgrade the corvettes. The new corvettes should come out with the better fusion reactors on them. So, let's go, again, deflectors across the board, autocomplete, if it slows in, switch this thing back to the proper thing, make sure we've got the medium things, level 2, level 2, wormhole generator, so we picked up an extra small deflector, um, seems fine. The blue laser, completely useless based on our new technology, we're, we're not interested in the blue laser at all. Cold fusion reactor, even more power. That sounds good. On the other hand, the basic physics lab could could accelerate the process of getting future technolo technology. So, I think we'll do that. Hostile fleet engaged. We have almost completed the extermination of these situation log these updated. crystalline entities, and this science ship is being bold. Just surveying stuff. Let's tell him to go survey uh, this Gaia world first and then survey the rest of the system. And then we'll tell him to research project the stuff we've already destroyed. And there'll be one more thing to, to do there. Okay, nice, uh, nice little mission that we got there. That's cool. Construction ship. Are you done yet? You need to build a, uh, a thing here. And you need to go to, like... Out of reach. It's crazy to me. Fleet engaged. That's out of reach. Situation, 
Situation log updated. Let's find that last guy and queue up his final research project there. Let's send you guys to, uh... Oh, man, that's so expensive to repair, but I really do want them to have the better weapons. That 100% armor penetration. Go home, try to repair. We'll see. We'll see if it works out. Established. Okay, so you have arrived. And this is the final warp point I think we need on the map. We're at 6 out of 5 again. This is the newest colony. Um, first things first, you're enslaved. Um, second things... What's up with this? Why are we growing these people? Oh, they're trying to grow, but we're trying to grow too. You don't need to be enslaved, but you are enslaved. This system... ...is really part of the Southern Expanse. So I think we're, we're gonna rename the Great Purge... ...sector. I mean, we have room for more sectors. We could do a fourth sector, but why do that, I think? Because they're close enough, it's within our space range here. We're gonna rename the, uh... Minimize, minimize. Rename the Great Purge to the Southern Blight. And then we will edit the Southern Blight. And we will add in this system and this new system. And call it good. So... Now, I guess, the robot... <laughs> the, the one robot <laughs> living on this planet by himself will help out with developing the Southern Blight Sector. Um, and let's let them keep all of their resources for now. They've got 287 stockpiled minerals that they've had for all this time. And, you know, never mind. Let's just tax the crap out of them. If they need more, we'll give it to them. These other guys, um, they're not spending their minerals, which I dislike. So let's start taxing them a bit. And, uh... Construction complete. Also, if we're gonna do these upgrades, I think we split the fleet in half a few times. And by doing that, what did that just do? If I, okay. I want to test this out. So we now have two fleets that are about equal, split in half, split in half. This is so micro-intensive. Um, so I click here. I right-click here. I take this fleet, and I bring you to Lexoran. Enter orbit. I find the second fleet. I send you... No. I right-click here. I find the second fleet. I send you to here. I go to the third fleet. Third planet. I find the third one. You are upgrade, going to upgrade here. I find the fourth planet. I go to it. I think I may have already made a mistake. I think I accidentally sent the, the third, the second and third to the, sec, the same planet because I didn't right click. Whatever. What I'm trying to do is spread the fleet out so that they'll upgrade better. We have Arctic worlds that are within range um, and have been surveyed. So we have two more planets available here. Um, we've got the minerals question is, do we have colony... Do we have places that are not building things? Yes, we do. Fanatic spiritualists. Sounds good. Uh, we have no more minerals to build another colony ship, but we will soon. Complete. I think we grab all of these smaller batches and we send them to Elexrin. Why, why do they already need to, be, need to be upgraded? I don't really feel like they should need to be. They just came out. They were just built. At least one inactive building. Okay. No one is available to work this. Well, that's certainly more more important than one, one little bit of power. Alright. You're building a colony ship, but you're not upgrading anything on the planet. Build science lab. Building, 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 building. 
you will become colonies. We have enough minerals that in Jerk Sug we can build another colony ship. We want the fanatic the right one. This construction ship has done a good job. We have the influence. Why don't we just like go claim this star? We expect it to have high minerals, so construction complete. We'll just expand our influence. We'll just say that's mine now. And people might not like that. Same thing happened down here. Uh, I tell you what, you go to here, and you go up to here. Okay, so we've met somebody. We have an inactive building. It's a farm. Oops. Population's at 10 out of 12. I'd like that farm to be running. Is it more important than money? Kinda. We need to get more blocker stuff removed. Building... we're not building anything here right now either. I guess that's okay. This planet though, we should be building something. We should be building a... We lack the resource for that. Uh, let's build a power hub. Construction complete. All you fleets just combine. And then enter orbit. An upgrade. Preparing for ship upgrades. I'm scared. 14 will be upgraded for 285. Established. Okay. And our colony is done. So that would be you. Congratulations on your newfound slavery. Same thing with you. And you belong down here, part of the Northern Blight. So we go, we edit. Wrong. Edit, Manage Sector, Northern Blight, you get this. Finish. You are going to build a frontier station here, as soon as we get the resources for it. We're just going to hang out for a month. Same thing, we need 200 minerals to build two frontier stations. I feel like maybe, uh, we don't have enough rivals, do we? Like, have we rivaled anyone? These, everyone hates me. I mean, obviously. These are the guys that we attacked. Are we not rivals? Hold on. Rivals with the creeping black mold. Am I getting points for rivalry? From Rivals 1.6, so yes, okay. I think we just, like, rival everyone, really. Their fleet is superior. They're superior in every way. These guys are pathetic. In every way. These guys are superior in every way. But what that means is that we get we get the most stuff from, rival from rivaling them. Point four, never mind, that sucks, that's not very good. What about the pathetic ones? <laughs> I'd rather get, I mean, if they're pathetic, I'd rather get 0.4 from that than from... Unemployment. You need a job. They took our gerbs! 10 out of 10. We have room for some growth. We have food. We could still use more minerals. We also don't have a power hub yet. We don't really generate any money on this planet, so I think I'd rather just build minerals. Next month we start both frontier stations. And I've got to get these darn fleets organized again.
Preparing for ship upgrades. Farm is inactive. This planet has room for some growth. I need the money and I need the minerals though. System survey complete. Construction complete. Colony established. Okay, before these minerals can get spent, let's have both construction ships build a frontier outpost. Oh crap, it's gotta be surveyed first. Damn. Well, in that case, um... Can you do anything? We could build a military station. Sure. Let's just build a, a, un, a, a ruler unique military station. Let's go and make sure that the design is the appropriate one. The defense platform is using large red lasers. No, let's use plasma throwers instead. Huge power deficit. Now we're good. And uh, build a ruler unique military station. Now let's do now it's 265. We're gonna claim this for our own. We have too many planets. The sixth planet has completed. Congrats on your enslavement. Congrats on your enslavement. And this Arctic world is also going to belong to the Northern Blight. And I think while the Northern Blight is in this expansive mode, let's um, let's go ahead and tax them only a little bit. Let's keep these minimized. System survey complete. Multiple people here. Um. We lack food. I think I think we pull people off food in favor of getting more food here. Try to get the population to grow, catch up. Same thing here, like pull off minerals for food. 15 food, wow. All of a sudden that pop's gonna grow pretty darn quick, huh? Also, was that the planet that maybe we could consider... Hey, we, I wanna build the... Really unique. I want this thing. I know we're trying to upgrade lots of fleets right now, and it's really expensive. It's still just waiting. I, I don't even remember. Let's upgrade 285. Let's cancel their missions for now. And we'll, uh, we'll pay closer attention to it. Wait, what? We just got a ton of minerals back. Were they already upgrading? Crap. It tied up the minerals, but it didn't show, at least, ah, maybe I just misclicked and I didn't check to see if, if they were already in the process of upgrading. When you cancel the upgrade, it just instantly goes away and you lose everything? Wow, that's crazy. But no, here it still says waiting for spaceport. I mean, we spent the minerals. We've got... One, two fleets here. These guys are upgrading. These guys are upgrading. And these are both waiting. So cancel, cancel. You can upgrade. You need to go find a different spaceport. This is where it's annoying trying to find one that's not occupied, so... Yandu's Cold Freeze, Kauri, and Kauri. Cold Freeze, Kauri, Lotharos is empty. So, Lotharos. Come over here to upgrade. 
I just wish that the upgrade system was a little bit simpler, right? Debris like, analyzed. like I'm not at war. Just upgrade speed should be faster, I think, and they should just be a little bit more intelligent when it comes to. I I would personally prefer if you could just have all of your fleet upgrade at one location and have it just be fast, just as fast as if it was at multiple stations. I can kind of understand why it's not that way. But I still don't particularly like it, is all I'm saying. No food anywhere, so I guess we just go here. One, 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 one. Hey, there's a three down there. I'll take the three over the... Yeah. That's fine. I need a science vessel. What are you doing? You're also in Kari. And yet you're not upgraded. I thought I told you to move to... Here. Jerg, select, move here. Enter orbit. Actually, upgrade is what I want you to do. I want you to come here and upgrade. Okay. I feel like I'm complaining less. I understand what I'm doing. I feel very confident right this moment at what we're doing. And again, we're playing on a harder difficulty. Not that it seems very difficult at all. In fact, I don't feel like the AI has pressured me one bit. Not even in the slightest this entire campaign. So, I don't know. Depending on how the rest of this campaign goes, the third campaign might be on the highest difficulty setting that we can find, or we might need to wait for the balance patch because the AI might just be too, too passive in general. This population, this is a power hub. We should definitely be working this. It's way better than, than that. Nine out of 11. I think one food is, that's no good. I'd rather that you get four four energy over one food. Okay. And we're waiting on science vessels now, or we could we could try to to get the construction ships to come home and just start upgrading resources again. But I'm kind of. They're both just working on debris. Is that important enough? Or do we want to do the frontier stations? I don't I don't really care about the debris, honestly. Um Wish I could see a queue of your order list and just cancel one specific order. Like finish this current order and and then stop. Research complete. Debris analyzed. Alright, cancel your current mission. Um you cancel that mission. You are going to come here and analyze this surveyed star. You are going to come and analyze this surveyed star. You are going to orbit this star. And you are going to orbit this star in preparation to build frontier outposts. And we finish the physics lab. Good. Colony development speed, more research alternatives. Improved deflectors is something I really want. The red shard thrower. And we already have lots of progress on this. 50% armor penetration. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Why would we want that when we've got 100% armor penetration? That's just silly. I think we'd rather have... Improved deflectors. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. This is where we expect to find high mineral outposts. That's why we're going to build the frontier stations here. 
And beyond that, we're at 5 out of 5. The colonies are well on their way. Are there more colonies within reach that we can consider? Um, there's this one. This is a Arctic world that we have not colonized yet. Is that right? Yeah, we've already got this colony. There's a, there's a second one here, so we need another... I need to take the time. There's one, two, three, four. The Gaia world, we should have... I, I had meant to, to pay closer attention to a while ago. It's not a holy site, so this Gaia world would be amazing. We need, like, infinite, infinite colony ships. So just build colony ships. Go. Build colony ship. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. What was stopping me from building more colony ships here? Nothing. Slavery, tolerance, happiness, go. And let's just see how quickly... Research complete. How quickly you can... What are you doing surveying the system? Oh, you've already arrived? No way. No, you've got a long way to go. You've almost arrived, though. Warp travel, man! Look at him go. He's ready. And slave army is now available, as is the slave processing facility. Cool. Okay, so some of these blockers I think we need to we need to work on. The Amoeba, uh, Amoeba Flagella is a heavy weapon. I don't think we want that. Regenerative tissue, I don't think we want that. The volcanic removal is going to be something we need. Unlocks the building Empire Capital Complex. Yes, please. And advanced government forms. Yes, please. I think we want that. Um... There was something else I wanted to do. 31 minute video, holy crap. See, like, I feel like there's just still so much to be done. Right, another colony ship is what it was. Oh, you're currently busy upgrading. Can you give me the right people? Fanatic spiritualists? Good. Right, okay, I'm going to take a break here. I have to. It's been too long. I'll see you again in the next episode. Thank you for watching, as always. I'll see you soon.